Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, um, where I've had a couple of comments to say, where is a crossword video? Well, I'll, I'll try and do one now. Um, I was looking through the puzzles I've not solved um, recently on the Times site, and there's a Saturday uh, Times crossword, so that's a prize crossword. The answer, obviously, it should have been out by now, so I think we're free to do it. So I'm going to take a look at that. I'm also aware that uh, for those of you interested in Sudoku, I had a bit of a shank with yesterday's video. Uh, we had a tweet um, asking us to solve a puzzle, and I presumed if I went to the New York Times hard Sudoku online for that day, I would find that puzzle, but it appeared somehow I didn't. Um, the puzzle was different, so I haven't solved the puzzle you asked me to solve. So I will try and do that at some point as well if I get a chance. Um, right, I'll have a look at that because I see Foot of Everest. Now, Foot of Everest is making me think of the last letter of the word Everest. That's a T. I'm sure Yeti lives there. Ah, so T. I'm sure. I bet. Tibet. That's where a Yeti lives. So, or a Yeti might live, I guess. Escorted by an idiot as Duke and Duchess are. Escorted by an idiot. Ah, a Duke and Duchess are titled. So, an idiot is a tit, I think, here. Uh, escorted, led. So, tit and led, put those together, and the Duke and Duchess are titled. So, I'm slightly surprised to see idiot clearing tit there, but amusing. Um, Bishop, I love getting a bit reactionary. Details here. Bishop, I love bio... bio... bio something. Bishop B... I, it's just plain text, I, love zero as an O in tennis, getting a bit reactionary. Bio data, a tad, yes. So a tad is a bit. Reactionary means reverse it. And the details, um, your details, you might find your personal details are your bio data. Charge for ring, that's a simple double definition. A charge is a toll, it's in a toll road, and if a bell rings, it tolls. So that, that's not too difficult. Now, I just have a look at this, and I'm thinking something like Toodle Pip for two down. Now, let's have a look at the clue. Advice on Fluffy Dog from Spooner, I'm off. Well, Spooner, uh, the Reverend Spooner, very famous for muddling up his first letters and phrases. So whenever you see reference to a Spooner in a crossword or Spoonerism, you need to muddle up the first um, letters of the phrase. Now, if we muddle these up, we would get Poodle Tip, which would be an advice on a fluffy dog. So, advice on fluffy dog from Spooner. Reverse the first letters, we get Toodle Pip, which of course means goodbye. Some upset chihuahuas exasperated a hairy man. Well, if you know your Bible, you will know that Esau was said to have a lot of hair. So... How's this working? Well, if we look inside the words chihuahuas exasperate and we upset some of those letters in order, you can see spelt out E S A U. So the answer is actually inside the clue itself. And the word that's telling us we need to look for the letters inside these words is the word sum. We need to take some of the letters and in this case we need to take them in their exact order. Let's try that one. Chance result of times expert going by tube. Chance result of times expert. Uh, oh, hang on. Chance result would be a byproduct. Times, if you if you were to do a time a multiplication sum, you might say three by four. The by there meaning times. So times an expert is a pro and a tube is a duct. So by pro duct, put them together, by product. That's a good 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 answer, actually. It gives us a B here. Last drink, your very good health. Well this must be bottoms up. Yes, okay, I see. So if you say bottoms up to somebody, you're saying cheers or your very good health. And the word play here, last, if you're coming last, your bottom, drink, is sup. Put those together, we get bottoms up. So, so far, this is going relatively smoothly. 18 across, sat around, having eaten old man's grub. 
Ah, okay, yeah. So your old man is your father. A short synonym for father, pa. Sat around, well, if you reverse the word sat, you turn it around, you, you would put that. And sat around having eaten, so a reversal of the word sat is eating, the short synonym for our father, and tapas, of course, is grub. We all enjoy tapas once in a while. Um, so, 21 across. Novel, extremely lively to begin with. Well, this is a very strange clue. Okay, so again, we have to make a decision. Which side of the clue is the definition? Now here, the word novel, that could be a definition, or it could be to begin with. Now, there's a couple of things to think about here. If you see the phrase to begin with in a crossword clue, that can often indicate the first letter of a word. Well, that would mean we need to look at the first letter of the word lively. That would be an L. And as this is at the end of the clue, that would suggest we're looking for something of this construction. The word would mean novel, and we need to put a nine-letter word meaning extremely, beginning with O, here. Now, that doesn't strike me as very likely. So how about reading a different way? What about if to begin with was the definition? Then we'd be looking for a word that means novel and then extremely lively. Well, when you see the word extremely in a crossword, it very often indicates the extreme letters of a word. So the first and last letters, and that's much that looks much more hopeful to me. The first and last letters of the word lively are L and Y, and this is a very natural ending for a word. So we just need to think of an eight-letter word for novel. I think we're looking for original. The novel is the original. Originally obviously means to begin with, so not terribly difficult once we learn to read the clue correctly. Let's try this one. Silly way Emma begins. Silly must be inane. Ha, yes, okay, how does Emma, the word Emma, begin? It begins in an E. Very nice clue. Slightly surprised it doesn't have a question mark, though, because it is a bit of, you know, it's a bit cryptic. It's a bit punny, that one. So I might have liked to see a question mark on the end of the clue. 26. It's true, Seth occasionally has a funny feeling up north. It's true. Ah. Okay. S Seth occasionally. Now, if you take the occasional letters of a word, well, what the clue is trying to tell you there is to take regular letters out of the word Seth. Now, we're helped here. We have an S. So we must be taking the first and the third letter of the word Seth. Now, we're looking for a word, probably, therefore, that means it's true. Now don't forget, we need to be very flexible in our minds about how we read words and think about synonyms in a cryptic crossword. So true, obviously, that's the opposite of false. You know, that's the way we tend to read the word true. But true can also mean loyal. And if you're loyal, you're staunch. And I think that's the answer here, because then has a funny feeling up north. I think that's suggesting the word hunch. And slightly arguably anyway, the suggestion here is that people up north might drop their H's. Um, so A is this A here, and then hunch without the H would give unch, and staunch means it's true. So I think that's the answer. Common to see biplane flying around east. Okay, well, here we have an anagram, I think. Flying is a very common anagram indicator. Uh, biplane is seven letters. Round east is suggests we put in the anagram of biplane around E. And it's going to mean common. Plebeian is a slightly surprising answer, which I've now spelled wrong. Uh, how do you spell plebeian? Is it like that? I should know that. That's appalling. Let's let's go for this and see if we can uh, back into the right spelling. Um, 14 down. Does this tell you what's wrong with conservative nieces misbehaving? Yeah, this is another fairly simple clue, actually. 
does this tell you what's wrong is the definition conservative you see that in a crossword clue it's almost always C or con let's go for con in this instance nieces misbehaving is an anagram of the word nieces so see if you can work out what this might be and the answer I think is conscience um, now what next Um, I'm just checking conservative nieces misbehaving. with conservative nieces misbehaving. I'm just trying to understand the spelling here because nieces misbehaving well we seem to have an extra C and I'm not sure how that's getting clued. Anyway I'll come back to it. Uh, money companions invested in play well that's going to be a companion very good tip companion of honor ch comes up all the time so you can see that companions invested in so i'm putting the ch in the middle of something now there aren't too many words i can think of that fit here trachea would be one but the other one is drachmar and then drachmar is certainly money and obviously the word drama here does mean play, so drama around CH is going to be the answer. Soldier's daughter retreats in confusion. Mm, soldier. I don't know that. Very fast stretch of water. Ha! Okay, well, a stretch of water um, is the solent, believe it or not. Very if something is very it is so he was so fast he was very fast and fast is just not fast as in quick but fast as in diet or don't eat and fast of lent there so so lent is how we get to our stretch of water put heads together to make this dish well okay i'm going to be looking i suspect for two words that mean head and i can immediately think of nut as a good one so nut roast nut loaf loaf means head as well doesn't it use your loaf so nut loaf a singer's engaged in this is this is a relatively accessible crossword i have to say this is another very easy clue a singer uh, as in a bird who sings is a tit so different form of tit to our idiot in one across um, but uh, dubious activity, if you're engaged in dubious activity, you're at it. Confirm where international cricket fan might be. Well, an international cricket fan might be at the test match, or at test in short. If you confirm something, you attest to it. Become British getting picture from... Okay, well, it's a nice clue, because it requires... Uh, reading it carefully so British very often is abbreviated to B so if you know that you can probably think of a word that fits the whole thing means become and if something becomes you it befits you so B is getting an E fit here which is a picture from the police um, I've been working my way through line of duty the last few weeks so I'm all over E fits um, 23 Auntie to take two books about Europe on vacation. Okay, well, here's another bit of classic crossword ease. If something is on vacation in a crossword, it never means on holiday or very rarely means on holiday. It means to vac you need to uh, vacate the word. You need to remove the innards of the word. And if you do that with the word Europe, you're just left with double E. And two books about double E with Beeb. And the auntie here is referring to the BBC, which is also in slang referred to as the Beeb. And I think that's the answer. Let's try this one then. Oops. The source of 
these two girls. Well, again, another easy clue. We just need to think of two girls' names that when we put them together, make a source. So that's going to be Mary Rose, I think. And this probably is Desert Rat now without... Uh, soldier is a desert rat, so that looks good, doesn't it? Daughter, ah, okay, yes, so it's daughter D, and then retreats in confusion is just an anagram of the word retreats. And that is eight letters, so that gives us nine letters altogether. And soldier being a desert rat. Uh, one thing I'd suggest, actually, is if, you, if you're if you relatively new to Times Crosswords and you're watching this video, and you have access to this puzzle, do try the remaining corner because this is this is doable. This is definitely a surprise crossword and it's very approachable. Um, or at least pause the answers before I explain them because I, I really think you'll surprise yourself with how many of these you can solve. Let's try this one. A beat policeman heading back by river. Mm. Well, I'm thinking of several things here, by the way. I, I should be more explicit. So the problem with river in a crossword clue is that there are so many uh, words for rivers. Uh, you know, all of the little names for rivers we come across all the time, like the fowl or the X or the dart or the cam or the po or, you know, there's just loads of them. Beat, you sometimes see that being used for lamb. If you beat somebody, you lamb them. And policemen, policemen plural actually there, that's interesting, heading back. Ah, so policemen might be the Met. Heading back by river. Ah, I should be able to solve that, I'm being, being a bit dumb. Uh, become very worried about sons getting into beer. Well, beer will be stout because of the ending here. So stress out is the answer. Become very worried to stress out. And then about is re, R-E. Something's re something. It is about it. Sons. Sun can be abbreviated to S. So this is just two abbreviations for the word sun. All that's being put in stout. And that's how we get to the, the overall answer. So what is this then? Combo, limbo, uh, policeman heading back by the river. Tempo. Oh, yeah, it was, it was the Met reversing by the river Po, and I just didn't put them together. You probably all got that first. Sorry. Um, sometimes my brain is so so slow. It is awful. Anyway, nine down. Staff did a runner, I hear, leading to complaint. Man flu. Staff, if you staff something as in you uh, employ enough people to do a job, you would man the job. You would. So man is the synonym for staff. Did a runner, I hear. Well, I hear is one of the numerous ways we see in crossword clues to indicate a homophone. So we're looking for something that if you do a runner, you f did a runner, you flew. F-L-E-W. So you're looking for a word that sounds like flu, but isn't spelt like that. And that, of course, is just F-L-U, uh, man flu being the complaint. A sonnet for turbulent times. A sonnet. A, um, a sonnet for turbulent times. Oh, OK. <laughs> this is a very nice clue, actually. I hadn't spotted, but should have spotted immediately. It was an anagram. but And the reason that this is a very clever clue is I'm obviously relatively experienced at times crosswords. I'm very used to spotting anagrams. But very often an anagram is spottable because the letters used stick out. You know, it's very clear that the compiler has needed a particular set of letters in the clue and that always sets alarm bells ringing in my mind. Whereas here, this reads incredibly naturally. A sonnet for turbulent times, you know, the start of this clue is perfect. It doesn't it doesn't scream anagram at all, uh, not to me anyway. And times is quite an unusual definition. The answer is afternoons. So I that's my favourite clue so far. Uh, let's try this one ending in O. Revolutionary sailor inspired by old English muse. Well, I'm 
Uh, it's good to learn the muses, Greek mythology. They come up once in a while, and the one that comes up the most often is Erato. Um, now, how does this work, therefore? Revolutionary sailor. Well, a sailor is a tar, T-A-R, inspired by. So tar is inside Old English here, O-E being abbreviated to Old English. Um, now, just to clear up one thing as well, you may, you may be watching this going, well, you know, you seem to be able to abbreviate any word in the English language to its initial letter. That's not true at all. All abbreviations need to be supported by the dictionary. So if you go, if we go to the dictionary afterwards and look up OE, we will see it explicitly list Old English as its um, among its definitions. And therefore, you know, you can't just take any word you like and you know clue it and expect people to know that you're indicating the first letter. That's just not how it works. I've not looked at this one. Wallops liberal moving to the right rubbish. Well, I don't know this yet, but uh, I, have, I have got it now. Okay, so what we're looking for here is an eight-letter word for rollop, or wallops, I should say. Um, really an embarrassing slip of the tongue. Um, liberal can be abbreviated to L, so I need to find the L in my word for wallops that I've discovered and move it to the right, so shift it this way in the word, and I should be able to create a word that means rubbish. See if you can get that. I'll give you a clue. It begins with C. And the answer is cobblers. So that's clobbers there for wallops with the L moving rightwards. Strange time to admit army scrap. Well, looking at the letters we've got, knowing that odd is a word that means strange, I'm immediately drawn to oddments here. So we've got odd T for time, admitting army. Your army is your men. And that creates a scrap, which is an oddment. So this must be something air. What's this first word then? Mm, don't know. Eleven across. Silence on radio has very bright female chucked out. Uh, ah, don't know. Let's get this one instead. Oh, matron's rib broken. So this is the opposite of the clue about uh, the sonnet. I mean, matron's rib, I mean, it just looks so strange. I mean, when have you ever seen those two words together ever in your life? The word matron and the word rib. It must mean that these particular letters are necessary. And if we add them up, they're ten letters. So this and word broken sort of reconfirms it. But I could read this clue without the word broken in it and know it was an anagram. Um, this might solve the problem. Brainstorm is the answer brainstorm and then this one is dead air is it silence on the radio is dead air very bright ah so dead if something is if you say that's dead good you mean very good so dead is being used as a synonym for very bright is fair if something is bright it's fair and female chucked out so chuck the f out of the word fair and we get dead air um, and we've finished now, I think. The only one I want to check is conscience, but I'm going to submit this and then have a look back at that clue and see if we can understand what's going on. So let's go back to it. 14. Does this tell you what's wrong with conservative nieces? I'm not sure. Um, I mean, if with can be con, maybe it's an anagram of nieces and C at the end, but with for con, I don't like at all. Let me just get chambers up. Okay, so here we go. Here's my online dictionary. Con, you can see it there. There's conservative. Con is a trick. It means against. Okay. Old word meaning to learn. I mean, it's got a lot of meanings, but. Oh, well, in Italian it means with. But there's no indication here that we're looking for an Italian form of the word. So 
I think that's, I don't think I've understood that quite right. So apologies um, if I'm being a bit slow there. If, if I am, please do in the comments explain uh, what I should have spotted, that would be helpful. Um, apart from that, I thought this was a very approachable puzzle. Um, and my favorite clue, as I said before, the anagram of afternoons there, very nice. So I hope this helped with your solving and I'll be back uh, in a few minutes with another video, this time on Sudoku. Thanks for watching.